And a week filled with outstanding guests. It's my pleasure to welcome the Commissioner of the Big 12, Brett Yormark, Thank is you. here with us in our studio. Great Thrilled to, to have here. you. Thrilled to be here. Uh, and this is your third month. And I, I want to start big picture here. I, I think when it was announced that Texas and Oklahoma were leaving the conference, there was this narrative, the Big 12 is in big trouble. I feel like that's quieted. How would you describe right now the state of the conference and where things stand, again, in your third month on the job? Well, first of all, thanks for having me here today. And I, from a conference perspective, we're off to the best year we've had in years. The parity attendance is up. 60% of our teams are in the top 25. Obviously, losing Texas and Oklahoma is something we're dealing with. But this conference is much bigger than two teams, and we're excited about our future. And when you think about expansion and the four teams coming in in July, Cincinnati, UCF, BYU, um, we, we've got a huge opportunity here and very excited about it. And you also mentioned, I, I saw some quotes from you, and I want to make sure I have them right here in mid-July, we are open for business. It's fair to say a lot of teams are interested in joining the Big 12. As, as we look at the future of college football, where it feels like there are going to be these teams making all these moves and all that, where does the Big 12 sit in all of this right now in your mind as far as acquiring other teams? Well, when I said open for business, it was more of a holistic approach mm -hmm. to we're no longer going to be stagnant. We're exploring every and all opportunities, whether it's expansion, how to diversify revenue, potentially uh, accelerating our TV negotiations. And for, but from an expansion standpoint, you know, we're vetting all options. That doesn't mean that we're going to expand further than the four teams, uh, Houston, Cincinnati, UCF, and BYU. But if the opportunity presents itself where it's additive and creates value for our conference, we're going to pursue it. Does it feel to you like a lot of this movement that we have seen in the sport in the last year or so is continuing? Should, should college football fans expect there to be more of this schools moving around here in the near I think future? we're in a kind of a pause stage right yeah, now. Yeah. People are assessing where they are, where they want to go. Um, obviously, the college football season has been fantastic, and I think everyone's focused on that right now. But do I think expansion will exist in the future? It probably will. And we'll see how it plays out with the Big 12. I mean, you're a person who's had a very diverse background in a variety of different areas of the sports world. And marketing is such a big part of all of that with a lot of your history. I know that you just hired a new chief marketing officer. What are the, what are the directions that you would like the image of the Big 12 to take? What do you want people to think of when they think of your Well, conference? I want them to vote yes for the Big 12. I think we need to contemporize the brand. We need to modernize it. We've got to attract younger viewers, younger fans. Um, and I think with the expansion that we just went through, our geographic footprint becomes more national. We're in eight states, over 75 million people. So I think there's a real opportunity to get on the consciousness of future student athletes so they can vote yes for the Big 12, and that's our goal. And, and then one more for you here. You now have a seat at one of the most powerful tables in sports as the conference commissioners sort of make a few, the, the future of the sport and the playoff a reality. What can you tell us about the conversations, about expanding the playoff to 12 teams, all the rest of that, and where you view your conference falling in with all of that? I think expansion is certainly something that we're we're all enthusiastic about. Uh, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done, but um, I'm very optimistic. And hopefully within the next couple of weeks, you know, we, we can drive towards a definitive answer, but I'm very optimistic. All right, well, I, I would do this forever. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Thank Please you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Brett Yormark, the uh, Big 12 Commissioner.